my YouTube channel. My name is Nandika Koe. Thank you so much for coming back if you are a channel subscriber. And if you've never seen my face before, welcome to my channel. And I'm so grateful that you're here and talk about a very, very sensitive topic. I think sensitive. If you didn't read my title, in which I'll really wonder why you're in this video. But anyway, if you didn't read my title, we are going to talk about not politics or no, but insecurities. Everybody has them. The Pope has them. Madonna has them. Was I about to say that joke? The one for the Pope has it, but Madonna doesn't? I don't know. If, if you're not old like me, <laughs> you won't get that joke. But if you've ever had that joke where the Pope and the Madonna... So before I ever started posting on this YouTube channel, I had an insecurity. And that insecurity, as you saw from the title, was my teeth. Like, <laughs> I went on Insecurities, everybody has. 
has them. Everybody, I'm telling you, everybody, even Rihanna has them. In fact, there was a video I was, I wish I could link it somewhere, but I, like, I can't seem to remember the title of the video where Rihanna was giving out a speech about why she's so good with fashion. And she said that fashion was used to cover up her insecurity. Basically, when she, she only used to feel insecure maybe about the way she looks, about what, so she'd cover it up with really good fashion. And she herself, she said, I wish I could quote it, but I don't know the exact quote, so I'm just going to like play around those words. But basically what she said was that uh, she always used to dress her best so that when other people see her, they do not see her as she is. Like, basically what she said, oh, what is happening? What she said was that uh, you can be better than me, but you cannot be better than my dress. So basically she was dressing up to cover her insecurity. I know it's so hard for us to imagine people like Beyonce with insecurities and such people, but the truth is, for as long as we are human beings, we were not made in an assembly line. We were not made in a factory, in an assembly line. We were born unique. We were born as individuals. There is no single day somebody will not have an insecurity because we are not the same. And as the saying goes, one man's meat is another man's poison. What I, I consider good, as they normally say that beauty is subjective. What I feel is beautiful. It's not the same thing as somebody else's beauty. And that is what has brought all these insecurities. Because what I feel is not beautiful. I should not voice it out. If I feel that uh, extremely long necks are not beautiful. There is no point for me voicing it out and saying, oh, you have such a long, ugly neck. What is the point of that? We're supposed to be celebrating our life and like affirming all these positive things. I know there's all that. However, there's something about human nature, yeah? Instead of human nature celebrating what is unique, what, ha what has actually created insecurities is that human nature, people do not celebrate what is but people actually like um, want to destroy it. Let me put it that way. Like instead of saying that this thing is unique and beautiful in its own way, when they see something that is not the same as they are, they want to kind of destroy it. If you know what I mean, like, as in, yeah, I guess you get the message. If you see somebody with gummy teeth, I remember in African culture and Africans can bear me witness. People used to love people with gummy teeth. I don't mean missing teeth like me. I mean like gaps in their teeth, like in their front teeth and stuff and that was a sign of beauty in African culture but you know times have changed right now even if you have gappy teeth you want to go and close that gap like close it and have perfect porcelain teeth so um, we don't celebrate what is unique as human beings we actually do tend to celebrate our um, but nowadays maybe the, change, the trend is changing thanks to all these positive affirmation things and all that like the world is evolving but people who just need that one last push like that just that last that tiny 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 push i wish i had somebody to push me like nobody pushed me to start my youtube channel i just i was just fed up i was like i'm living a lie like <laughs> i'm living a lie i always want to post but just because my teeth are like this uh uh i was like i have to post but there are some people out there who need that one last push. Now I'm beginning to sound like an African preacher, but this will be me okay. uh, But you know, there are people with insecurities and people hurt them when they talk about though, their insecurities. They, there's no point in talking about somebody's insecurity, to be honest. Like, the person knows they're fat. The person knows they're slim. Unless that person has approached you for help, you're a doctor maybe, or the person has just decided to confide in you as a friend. Like, hey, I'm trying this, help me out. There's no point of you going there to tell them, oh, I know this fairness cream. This fairness cream, you are question. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you wanted to find out, are there YouTubers who have bad teeth? I still don't know the answer, but I'm on YouTube, so I do, I don't have the best teeth. Okay, let's be honest, they, they are considered horrible. I do have horrible teeth, but I'm on YouTube and that is the answer. And I believe there are other YouTubers out there who do have horrible teeth and probably they did uh, like make them or something of the sort. Um, probably some even have temporary veneers and all that manner of things. But whatever it is that is stopping you from uh, pursuing your dream, just because it's a physical, especially if it's a physical thing and not like, it, and, and physical
because in the aspect that it doesn't affect your health. For example, maybe you want to, yeah, you, I don't know if you can guess what I'm trying to say. You know, English is uh, like my third language. So, uh, if, if, you, if you really want to get that thing and it's not affecting your health in any way, do that thing. Nobody is going to judge you. We have all manner of people on YouTube. We have people with disability. There's even a, a YouTuber that I follow and I love her so much and she's called Shannon Black. I'm going to link her channel below. She's a band victim and she's doing what she loves most on YouTube and people love her. People don't see her the physical aspect. They see her character. They see her what her skills. They see her transformation skills and they know that this is a wonderful person. So do what you want to do so easy people to overcome their insecurities. I mean for some people the insecurities are really really deeply rooted and they even need like psychological counseling and like seeing uh, psychiatrists, counselors, whatever for several years so that they can overcome their insecurities and fears. I understand that they are people like that but this video is specifically for as I said before for that person who needs that one last push. I know that you can do it and I know that you can make it and therefore just Make sure you go for your dream. This life, we don't know what is after it. We only speculate about what is after this life. But this life, you've been given at this point to live it. So live life the way you want to live it. And do whatever you want to live this life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you are, and I'll make sure that whoever subscribes to my channel will see my transformation one of these five days. One of these fine days, you're going to see my teeth transformation. I'm going to make sure. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you feel like subscribing, by the way. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so much if you've reached this point. I'll see you in my next video. I do makeup videos and I post every single week. Be blessed, be blessed, and be blessed again.